Hi guys, it's Beth. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my camper. So uh, this is part two of my camper crafting series and I am showing, it's kind of in a, a little bit of a montage style. So there's a little bit of the process of my camper crafting. Uh, I realized it was really hard to film in here just because I didn't have a full tripod or a place to mount my camera uh, over my head. So it was sitting on my table as I was crafting, which made for a little bit of a shaky camera and then, you know, kind of an awkward position. But I did include a little bit of my process and kind of how I work when I'm in the camper. And also at the end, if you care to see anything about our vacation, there's also going to be a little montage of some of the things we did while we were on vacation. So I hope you guys enjoy this different type of video and this, this short little series. I will share a couple things that I have learned about camper crafting or really just small um, space crafting in general. And one is when you're packing to craft on vacation or on a trip, Think about the project that you want to work on, like pick one or two things that you know you want to work on and pack what you need for those and maybe a few extra tools that you might need, you know, to embellish, you know, like punches or something. But don't bring like I've done before. Don't try and bring everything that you own um, just in case you might need it or because you don't really have a plan. There's many times where I've come camping and not had a plan and have brought everything with me. Um, and number two is when you're camping or when you're crafting in a small space, be mindful of how your tools are stored. So like I showed you in my last video, and if you did miss part one of my camper crafting series, I will link that in the description box below as well as in the cards. But I showed you this little tool caddy that I had that I kind of brought all of my, my tools in. And I have that with me when I'm crafting and I try to keep all of my tools like I, I use it, I put it back in that caddy so I know where it is and so that it stays off my space. Because when I am camping in the crafter, <laughs> when I am crafting in the camper, I am usually sharing the table with someone else. So there's been times where Ellie has been sitting here crafting with me or Avery is doing something at the table or usually Sean sitting across the table, you know, working on something or watching a video. And so unless everyone is asleep, I'm sharing the table with someone else. And so I have maybe half the table, half the available amount of space to craft on. So I have learned that I need to keep track of my tools. It just keeps it less stressful for me. And I know where everything is, can find it quicker. And I know there's a lot of you out there who craft in a small space all the time who can second that um, for me. I know Debbie with Project 39 mini albums, they live full time in an RV. And so her crafting space is in her camper and that was one of the things that she has mentioned as well as trying to put things away as soon as you're done using them so it's off your space and it keeps your area neat and clean and they're easy to find so anyway those are just a few things that i have learned and again hopefully you enjoy this different little series that i've done if you have any questions about anything please let me know otherwise i hope you enjoy thank you guys so much for your time and hope you're having a crafty day. So here's my setup, just thought I'd kind of show you where it all sits when I'm actually working. Everything's kind of within reach and I can just kind of, I try to put things back away when I'm done. And here I am at work and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Mm -hmm. 